All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wawar Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world ignorantly calls to Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rakhak Kodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are going to teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And pretty much, Donald Trump, the president, you know, he's uh, signing, you know, bills that are going to give the government control over what's being posted, you know, on social media. In specific, the things, um, the things that are, uh, you know, uh, political, okay? Anything that deals with politics, they want to have control over this. And the reason why is because, you know, with the creation of these you know, social media platforms such as YouTube, you know, the Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth, is giving the common person a power to, you know, um, voice their opinion, you know, expose the, um, the corruption that's going on, you know, in, in the White House and, you know, where, wherever it may be, okay? And a lot of people don't trust the government anymore. They're seeing what it, uh, for what it really is. And you see, for the longest, these elites, okay, they've had the power to control the people's minds, what they, you know, what they, uh, basically they're persuading them, all right? You know, they're, they're, they're in a sense, controlling what they think and feel, okay? Because they had, you know, all the, um, the, uh, uh, they had all, all these, you know, uh, um, what do you call those, uh, you know, television stations. They own all the television stations. They own all the, um, you know, printing press. Okay. You know, all the, you know, the newspapers, all that. So for the longest, they were controlling the narrative. But see, now these things aren't like how they used to be. So, these elites, you know, they're getting tired of it. I forgot which Rockefeller was. I believe it was uh, David Rockefeller, if I'm not mistaken. I forget which Rockefeller said this. But, they, uh, but he basically said that, you know, the internet should have never been created. And the reason why is because they're getting exposed on every level. All right? You know, and ultimately, they really want to... You know, stop the men of the Lord from preaching. Because, you know, wait, we find these articles and we expose them, all right? And we bring out things, um, we bring out scriptures condemning them, all right? They, you know, all, they'll have, they'll do certain things and we'll say, well, according to this scripture, you're in violation, you know, so on and so forth. And they don't like that. You know, they, 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 they don't, you know, one thing is if, you know, you know, basically, if you control one's mind, you know, you, you they, they're pretty much defeated, okay? And everything starts with the mind. And you see, they're losing grip on that, and they're not liking that, okay? But um, I'm going to get into this article, and it says, Trump signs order that could push to punish social media companies for how they police uh, uh, content drawing criticism and doubts of uh, legality. It says President Trump on Thursday signed an executive order that could open the door for the U.S. government to assume oversight of political speech on the Internet. A uh, broadside against Silicon Valley that a wide array of critics derided as a threat to free speech. And it, it is, okay? You can post anything. Pretty much, if you have an opinion, okay, that goes against their agenda or you have information that exposes them they're just gonna um you know uh pretty much uh take it off okay which they've been doing already but now it's just um the uh the grip is getting tighter you know they, they don't want anything coming out see eventually they're gonna have to cut this internet off 
And that's what leads to this scripture. You know, let me get the scripture. We'll read a little bit more of that. This is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? You see, all this stuff ties in. You know, even though they're right now saying, oh, it's just a political thing, but it's going to get... They're going to... Um, you know, let's say they, they uh, allow that to happen. Okay, the government has an oversight of, you know, political... Um, post right but eventually it's gonna um, uh, it's gonna be more and more and more they want to complete control over everything they don't want any you know freedom of speech they don't want basically any um, any truth coming out okay all right I will go back to that scripture in a moment but I want to read a little bit more it says um let me go down a little bit or was it? Because there's a lot here. Um, but I just want to get to the main thing. Um, where was it? Here we go. It says, while Trump has threatened to uh, penalize tech companies for years... His signing of the order Thursday came in response to a decision by Twitter earlier in the week to mark two of his erroneous tweets with fact-checking labels. Okay, so you had Twitter basically checking what he said. All right? And that's what really pissed him off. All right? Even though these things were happening prior, but, you know, you know, the fact that they did this you know that that's what really you know uh, set everything. You know that was basically like the um, the final straw, man. All right. Okay. It says the small move set off a firestorm of tweets by the president threatening social media companies or regulations and other pun punishments. And you see these companies, they don't want to deal with fines. They don't want to deal with their company going under because they're making a lot of money. All right. So they're going to get in league with what he's saying. They're not going to fight it. They're with the agenda. All right. Okay. And I'm going to keep re uh, reading. I'm going to uh, read this too. Trump's directive now uh, could set the stage for federal regula uh, regulators to write new rules and issue new punishment for companies deemed to exhibit political bias. Okay. And, and, and they're just using these, you know certain terms really they just want anybody going against the government all right that, that's the reality of it it says depending on how the order is carried out it poses the potential for wide-ranging consequences from a much broader segment of the internet beyond just social media giants potentially affecting every website you see app or service or users congregate online with new uh liability for the content on their platform you see that's the main thing. Okay, they're trying to get, like I said, complete control of everything. You know, basically, you give them a foot, they're going to, or you give them an inch, they're going to take a foot. Okay? You see? And that's why I read that scripture in that Amos 8 and 11 about the famine of the word. All right? Because this famine of the word is coming. They're going to eventually cut off the internet. Now I'm going to read a little bit more. Verse 12. It says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. And this is talking about pretty much these Israelites that have heard this word, that have seen us preaching on, you know, the corners, that have, you know, seen our videos, that have actually known somebody, you know, that knew the truth, okay, that, you know, a prophet of the Lord. And when the time of calamity comes... That's when they're going to try to, you know, find the prophets. But see, you're not going to find the men of the Lord in that time. Because the Heavenly Father, all right, um, gave you a chance and you didn't take it. So you're not going to be able to find these men in that time. You're going to die. And you're, you know, with all the iniquities, you, you're going to die, you know, because you didn't repent. And you didn't want to um, seek the Lord while he may be found. And you know what? Let's get that real quick. Um, this is in Isaiah chapter 55 and 6. 
probably get this scripture and one other scripture and when you know we'll be done it's isaiah 55 and 6 i'm gonna read down to 7 it says seek ye the lord yahweh while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near and look you still ha have time to repent you still have time to get yourself right because the doors of mercy okay are still open okay the 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 the, the um the doors haven't closed all right as of yet you can still you know talk to somebody that knows uh the truth you can still in certain places there's still brothers preaching this word on the highways and byways you still have um access to this internet okay so you you can um you know uh, view these videos that's why you, you got to do it now the time is now because it, it's it's running out it's evident look at what's you know being uh pushed right now look at the uh the agenda all right and these things are uh, look the internet's gonna you know eventually shut down and when this happens you know i'm speaking as man i think they're gonna shut down the internet first before um before uh, uh, all hell breaks loose as in you know the marshal the complete full um the uh what's the word i'm looking for the conf the, the, the the final phases of martial law there we go because right now there's but basically we're go we're entering into like you know particular phases of this martial law situation all right because we are in martial law it's just a very low scale of it but it's gonna you know uh, increase the uh restrictions are gonna um uh increase all right so hey get this word now and it says let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let every and let him return unto the lord yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon and then that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to forsake our wicked ways okay we're supposed to uh um put off that old man we're supposed to be that new creature that new man that walks in righteousness all right and look only um those that um have faith which if you have faith you're gonna have works okay those are the ones who are actually gonna get saved the ones that are actually trying all right to to you know to get right they're applying the scriptures you know to their daily life those are the ones who are gonna get saved N not people who are living a, a wicked you know lifestyle or really it's a death style you know a wicked life pretty much and you know when you know all hell breaks loose then you want to uh, get right it's, that's not how it works okay and uh i'm gonna get this last scripture in uh the book of sirach it's the uh, fifth chapter in the seventh verse and we're gonna end it off with uh this scripture here this is uh sirach five and seven and it reads, make no tearing to the Lord, meaning don't delay it. And put off not and put not off from day to day. Okay. When you hear this word, hey, uh, as the scriptures say, you know, uh, 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 run with it. Okay? You're supposed to, you know, um, you know, change your ways. You're supposed to uh, flee from this world, okay? Spiritually. Okay, you're not supposed to partake in the, the things that are going on in this place. And it says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And this is happening. Okay, and it's going to get more intense. You know, hey, look, look even with this whole COVID-19 thing, everyone's lives have changed overnight. And it's been maybe going on three months in the United States. You know, it's been um, pretty much the U.S. has been on lockdown for the, you know, the most part since March. All right. And it's barely hitting, you know, uh, June. It's about to hit June very soon. Okay. And that's in three months. And look how, how drastic everything has changed. Okay. See, the Lord can destroy uh, a kingdom very quickly. All right, so that's why hey, we got to get you know on board right away, 
and just, uh, you know, stay focused and repent. You know, hopefully this was edifying. And, you know, it, it, it's getting, um, you know, closer to the end. You know, so, you know, just you know, keep fighting and, you know, stay spiritual as much as possible. And with that, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and salutations to all the brothers. Shalom.